In this chapter, I'll show you practical tips for optimizing your site, starting with where to place your keywords using the Wix editor. A general rule of thumb when preparing website content is to always put your users first. Above all, aim for clarity and readability. Do not sound like a robot and go crazy inserting keywords everywhere, or you'll be penalized for spam. That said, add keywords to your website in the following five places. Metadata. Every page of your website has a title and description at the top of its HTML code. This content doesn't appear on site. It's hidden to site users, but it's actually the text you see in a SERP page. This is where Google looks first. Titles should be no more than 70 characters long and descriptions no more than 150 characters. You can add a title and description to each page in the editor. Headers. When you read a newspaper, first you read the headlines, right? Think of website headers like content headlines. They're the most important pieces of on-page content for SEO, so a great place to add a keyword. To add headers in the editor, use the text tool. Body copy, the bread and butter of your website's SEO. Sprinkle your keywords throughout your on-page content, but exercise caution and keep the text readable. Again, you're writing for people, not robots. Add body copy in the editor from the text tool. Alt text. Search engine crawlers can't read pictures, just text. That's where alt text comes in. Adding a brief description or label to your images and videos make them readable to search engines. In fact, alt text was originally created so that users with disabilities who rely on screen readers to browse the internet are able to understand visual content on a web page. Throw in a keyword if it makes sense to a few of your alt texts. To add alt text to any image or video, Click on it and click Settings. There you'll see an alt text field. Keep these short and sweet. Internal links. Placing a keyword inside a text-based link tells users and search engines what to expect on the next page. For instance, include links in your footer or deeper pages in your site back to your home page through a link that includes your top keyword instead of the word home. This is just general advice on how to incorporate keywords into your website. Start with your metadata and work from there. You don't need to add keyword-rich headers and body copy to every single page on your site. Prioritize your home page and one or two other pages. If you can, focus on optimizing your home page for your most important keyword and other page for your second and third keywords. For more on how to add keywords to Wix websites, check out the Wix Help Center on SEO. Our next on-site SEO tip is also important, and it deals with how easy it is to use your site on a mobile device. And you're in luck. Wix automatically creates a mobile-friendly version of your website, which you can tweak and customize through the Wix editor. You can provide mobile users with things like click-to-call buttons, so they can easily call your place of business and can offer a really smooth user experience. Another way to optimize your site is to use the SEO wizard, a free tool that identifies things like opportunities for adding keywords and missing alt text. This tool gives you a good overview of your site from an SEO perspective so you know what specific areas to focus on. You can find the SEO wizard in the Manage Site dashboard. There are many SEO apps in the Wix app market to drive more traffic to your website. Our favorite is Site Booster, which submits your site to local directories, earning you quality backlinks. For advanced SEO, connect your site to Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools. We'll discuss these more in a later class.